Hey guys, what's up? It's Shooky Talks Tech here today with another video, and today we're going to be going over a two thousand um, dollar, pretty much ultimate um, gaming PC. But this is not only an ultimate gaming PC; it's more than that. It is a a hundred percent reliable and very. It's a quiet, reliable build. So there's no liquid cooling in it. It's all air cooled because there's less to go wrong there. But it's still like an amazing system. It's going to be really quiet, it's going to stay really cool, and it's going to be basically inaudible, and we're going to be using, like, totally, mainly just parts from Be Quiet, to be totally honest. So, yeah, um, let's get right into it. First off, we're going to have the Intel Core i7 7700K, 4.2 GHz quad-core processor. It's an Intel i7, it's on the new K KB Lake architecture, and it, um, is... On the LGA1151 socket, it has a 4.2 GHz operating frequency, but with most coolers, it's able to, at 1.325 at 1 volts, it's able to hit 5 GHz stable. It is on the 14 um, nanometer architecture. It has a 90 watt TDP, and it doesn't come with a stock cooler, which is kind of frustrating, but I mean, you're not going to get a K CPU that's unlocked with an unlocked multiplier for. Well, you know, a stock cooler. Um, 64 gigabytes of maximum support of memory, and it has um, four threads. So it has four cores and four threads of hyper threading. This is a great processor for video editing and also for streaming. So if you really like to stream a lot, it's really good. And it's the fastest single core performance processor out to date. Next up for a CPU cooler, we're going with the massive Be Quiet Dark Pro 3. It's an insanely big CPU cooler. It's just beefy as all get out. Has two silent wings, three fans on it. Has a really sleek, like top black, matte black metal, like top finish to it. So it's gonna go nicely with um our mainly black aesthetic, uh, like our little blackout build, black mambo, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's made by Be Quiet Super. Just quiet. It's a quiet thing. It's a huge CPU cooler. But that's okay, and it has literally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 12 heat pipes off of a huge nickel base plate. And this thing will just dissipate the heat right away. The, it's arguably one of the beefiest air coolers, and next to that is just the Noctua NH15, which is another really big one used in servers. Great CPU cooler. You did speak quiet, so it's going to be quiet. And yeah, I mean, it's a great CPU cooler from all the reviews I've seen. Next up for, is, for our motherboard is the Asus Strix C270 eGaming motherboard. Now this this motherboard, this is really cool. So, not only are the heat sinks on this thing, like, really cool, okay? And sort of very, like, geometric. But it has, like, a balls-to-the-wall I.O., a maximum 64 gigabytes of RAM supported. You can do SLI or even three-way SLI. I think um, it supports those NVMe M.2 SSD, so you're going to get those crazy 2,000 megabit <laughs> read and write speeds, which will literally, to put into perspective, like my SSD only has 512 megabit read and writes okay, and it can reboot my system in nine seconds. So imagine what four times that would be like. That's just insane. It's so cool. There's a really cool like zigzaggy pattern all over the motherboard. And it's really neat. And it has all the basic power connectors. Um, it's RGB too and a motherboard. So yeah, now we're having RGB motherboards, which is <laughs> just insane. And it's it's a beautiful motherboard. It's mainly black with the RGB. You can just change it to white. You have it kind of on the first um, heatsink. And on the other heat sink on the top left above the I.O. And has a built-in I.O. shield, which is just... It's nice. It's a nice feature. For um, our I.O. here, we're going to have um, standard gigabit Ethernet. Um, we're also going to have uh, two USB 3s, two USB 2s. A, and you are going to have six audio jacks for your surround sound audio and it looks like a charging dock of sorts I'm not really sure what that is that's HDMI and a video output just 
a DVI connector and a mini display port and a display port but chances are you will not certainly not need to use the motherboards integrated graphics when you see the video card that we have in here which is really cool it also has RGB connectors which is nice just interesting kind of cool to have for our RAM we're just gonna go with 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance white LED RAM it's great you can turn off the LEDs just the white kind of spruces it up a little bit so it's not all jet black 32 gigs gonna be great for streaming video editing much higher than the minimum recommended specs for any video game right now great RAM it's Corsair they're good they make good stuff for storage we're gonna have the Samsung 960 Pro 512 gb by M.2 SSD and this is a really good SSD it has crazy read and write speed it's NVMe it's NVMe which is the fastest type of SSD trust me it's great just it's going to be a beastly SSD so your boot times are going to be super fast there then for our mass storage we're going to have the Western Digital Caviar Blue 1 terabyte 7200 RPM internal hard drive 50 bucks, great hard drive, supposedly like the legendary hard drive is what people call it. And yeah, I mean, if you want to upgrade more to the future, you can go to 2 or even 3 terabyte solid straight times, or you can just make a full SSD system. I mean, like, with these 512 gigabytes of SSD space that you're going to get with the Samsung 960 Pro, you're really not going to need that. You can store a bunch of your games on there. It's going to be just snappy fast, and it'll be great. For a video card, since... The Lords have released the 1080 Ti from NVIDIA. The normal 1080 has gone down in price from $600 all the way down to $499. This one is from EVJ. It's $520 right now. You can get them for cheaper. I would honestly wait to get it for cheap. Cheaper, just there's all sorts of different ones. And some of them are even coming with games. Like I saw an MSI 1080 Gaming X coming with For Honor for only $490. Bucks, but with a $6 game... It will know it's four on or it goes or it goes three com wildlands. It's your choice. You're basically getting the video card for four hundred and thirty or four hundred twenty dollars, and it that that's an insane deal on a ten eighty. But since I am trying to stick with the aesthetic here, I know this kind of seems like form over function, but it's not. Trust me, it it's a really good GPU. I mean EVGA they make amazing stuff. I have an EVGA GTX nine seventy for the win graphics card in my system. Couldn't be happier with it. And this one has a really nice backplate on it. No complaints. And this video card can run 4K, over 50 FPS almost, AAA titles. Definitely maxed out 1440p, over 80 FPS on all AAA titles. Killer graphics card. It's great. For a case, we're going to have to, we're going to go, since we are going for really quiet and reliable, we're going to go with the Be Quiet Dark Base Pro 9 100 with window ATX full tower case now since this is a full tower it will be really tall But be quiet makes amazingly quiet cases Yes, I know it's kind of in the name has dust filters everywhere. So you're not gonna have any dust getting in your system um You look at sound dampening material throughout so that's just really nice So you're not gonna get any of those rumbles in there. You have three silent wings three fans which are incredibly quiet fans. I'm going to be picking some up within the next two weeks for my own system. Trust me, they're great. And it has a ton of drive-based storage. It's fully modular, so you can literally turn it inside out if you want. It has a tempered glass side panel, so it's going to be beautiful, so you can see your components. You can put an LED strip in there if you want. And I've heard that it's an amazing case, and so I'm putting it in this build because it's going to be really quiet. It is going to cost you a pretty penny of about $220 just for the case but for what you're getting with this case it's it's worth it I I really think so or you could go with one from Lee and Lee or really just anyone they're great cases be quiet makes great stuff next up for a power supply it's going to be the EVGA Supernova G2 850 watt 80 plus gold certified fully modular ATX power supply EVJ is just my go-to for every power supply that I do in my in my videos. Incredible power supplies. I have one. Whisper Quiet. Like, can't stress that enough. It's Whisper Quiet. It's 80 plus gold. And it's fully modular. I don't know what more you want. 
it comes with a set of just jet black cables that appear to be sleeved, not like sleeved, it's just mesh sleeving, but you can get some from Cable Mod for like custom modded cables if you want. I can leave, I'll leave those in the description down below. And so yeah, great power supply. And that's basically the build. I think I'm going to call this one the Black Mamba build just because, you know, it's kind of funny and adds a bit of humor to the video. And uh, yeah, it's a great build. This build is primarily for editing, gaming, and streaming, or if you just have a bunch of money in your pocket and you want to get a great build too, then I mean, like, you do you. I mean, it'll be great. No nothing can compete against this build in the sense of, like, for this $2,000 um, price point. It's a good build, and I mean, like, I'm sure that there's somebody that'll make one that's better, but... Right now, this is the one that I think is the best and that I put together for the most quiet and reliable experience. Anyway, guys, this has been Chucky Talks Tech, and I will see you in the next video. Also, please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed the content. And if you haven't, I'll leave a dislike. If you have, leave a like. And link down in, not link, um, just comment in the video's comment box down below what you all want me to do videos on next what price points you all want me to do and what you all think will be best for the channel um anyway yeah see you guys later